Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, high temperatures not going to be too bad next couple of days. We'll be in the upper 80s today. There'll be a few 90s inland. Mid to upper 80s tomorrow. That's going to be great for Saturday. We are going to heat up again on Sunday. Uh, temps back up to 90. The humidity's back up. And then on Monday, temperatures start dropping 85 degrees and dry, and then low 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So our first little cool down here came in uh, yesterday. We noticed that it wasn't uh, that much cooler, but a little bit, but it was also a little bit drier out. And so now we've got these northeasterly winds. The front's kind of falling apart. It's a wind shift line. There's a few showers back to the west of us, but uh, we are going to be mild today and uh, a little bit drier until some of those showers come in. Then, of course, it you know, ups your humidity. Our uh, dew points, you know, the, the upper 60s. So they have dropped, and the uh, higher humidity's gotten scrunched down just to our south. So it will come back again as we go into Sunday. So right now, temperatures are great. We're at 70 in western Portsmouth, 73 Virginia Beach, 74 Newport News, and 76 in Suffolk. And we got partly cloudy skies. It's a gorgeous morning. We're at mid 70s here in downtown Portsmouth, and uh, it's near 70 in Chesapeake right now. So Super Doppler 10, there's no rain in Hampton Roads except there's one little spotty shower or two. Uh, there's some more showers off to the west. As they move east, a lot of those are falling apart. But in southern Isle of Wight County, right along 460, we've got a couple sprinkles, and then we had a couple in western Suffolk that are falling apart. Again, this is just going to be a sprinkle or two, and then it's probably just going to um, fall apart and go away. So uh, that's what's happening this morning, maybe a stray shower or sprinkle. Our future track computer model suggests that up through noontime. Once we get in the afternoon, we see some scattered showers and there might even be a couple of thunderstorms in here, especially over North Carolina where it's expected to get a little bit hotter, a little more humid. So this is 3 p.m. Uh, a few shower storms around 5 o'clock, 630. They do start moving south though at 630 and they should be out of here uh, by about 9 o'clock. So now overnight we're going to be quiet in our region. There might be a few stray showers. Isolated showers tomorrow in the morning and you know tomorrow looks pretty good overall. I think we will get a few hit or miss showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two, but you know, I'm not expecting that much rain at this time. The computer models just aren't showing it. So I think Saturday is going to be pretty good. Sunday rain free for most of the day, but by Sunday evening we'll catch a few showers and storms there with that bigger cold front coming in. Stay tuned for updates. Now today, 89 in Nags Head, 90 Elizabeth City, 91 in Edenton. It's still going to be fairly humid, partly cloudy, some scattered showers and storms this afternoon. And the same for the south side, but upper 80s in Norfolk, Portsmouth, Virginia Beach and Suffolk. A little bit cooler today, a little bit drier, 90 degrees in Chesapeake and 90 out in Franklin. 90 also for Williamsburg, but upper 80s for the rest of the peninsula. Yorktown, Pocosin, Hampton, Newport News, upper 80s. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour and mid to upper 80s on the eastern shore and upper 80s in Gloucester. Temperatures pretty good today. Maybe just an isolated shower in those cities. In the tropics, I've got Tropical Storm Fiona that I'm tracking and another disturbance to the southeast of there. This one I'm going to watch carefully. The models take it west and do strengthen it over the next few days, uh, but so far it's just a disturbance. So here's the latest with Fiona. The track takes it northwest, but uh, sends it east of Bermuda as a depression by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday. So right now, the odds are pretty good it's going to stay out to sea. The computer models pretty much keep it out to sea, and I'm not too concerned about Fiona, but we'll watch it carefully, though, still over the next few days. But the odds are that it's going to stay away from us. Boating forecast, winds variable 5 to 10 knots, seas to 2 feet, the bay's 1 foot, and your 7-day forecast. Upper 80s today and tomorrow, 90 on Sunday, some evening showers and storms, and then Monday through Wednesday, cooling and drying. Highs in the low 80s Tuesday and Wednesday with sunshine.